another bike, as you may have guessed. So in previous years, the Fuel EX7 has been a letdown. Always sort of last minute thought of. You had the Fuel EX5, which was great value for money. Then you had the Fuel EX8, which was great value for money again. And the Fuel EX7 always felt like this kind of misstep where they just kind of few on an extra part or two but didn't really change it and this year it it might be different all right so let's just jump straight into the specs out front they have the rock Sharks 35 gold rl so this is a 35 mil stanchion fork high performance level you know there's better out there but this is a really good from fork it is the gold RL, it has the air fork to it, so it's adjustable just with air pressure, takes the weight away, it's light now, overall high performance to it. Has the SRAM NX power spec. Again, kind of looked upon as the low end spec because it's the lowest end in the 12 speed. We haven't heard much from SX lately, so I'm not sure what's going on with that. NX though, performs really good it is on the heavier side but we're talking a few hundred grams in this level of bike it really doesn't matter and then we are put with the fox float with the three position switch to it so you can go climb trail descend really fast quick adjustments to it again nothing fancy but definitely not an underwhelming piece at all it works super well the brakes are upgraded. They are an MT400 series, so you get some extra bite to it. Still just that dual piston, but it works really, really, really well. Everything on this is the highest end you can get without being high end. It's an interesting little take. Overall, I think it's fantastic. For the $4,000 that it is now in Canadian, which means it's under four in US dollars, you are getting everything you need ever to a mountain bike. Can you make it better? Yeah, you can. Is it upgradable? Yes, it's upgradable. So is that a downside? I don't really know. iPhone sells the iPhone SE and then even the older models as their mid-level models. You know, the iPhone 12 is now the mid-level model and the iPhone 13 is the new one. Doesn't mean the Fuel X7 is a bad bike in any which way. It's still packed full of features, they've just cut that price as much as they can to fit everything you need. You have 12 speed, you have a 35 mil stanchion bike, so you can get high performance out of this fork, even in some rough, aggressive terrain. We were just talking about the Heckler, and that had that 36. 36 is a new one. It used to be 34 to 38. 36 and 35 are new. Thicker, stronger, overall higher performance parts, but for some reason it's looked down on. And I think it should be stopped, honestly. With this bike, you are gonna never outride, well, not say never, 90% of people are never gonna outride this bike. Every partner on it is all you'll ever need. It has tech from the future, it has tech from the past, it works so well that it's kind of a disappointment that they're not sold more and more. We kind of go to that entry level because you get such a good deal on it, like, Full suspension, you get a really good drivetrain to it. It's definitely not the fanciest, but it's great. Great suspension, but you cut that price way down. This one is so close to the Fuel X8, they kind of make you want to spend up to the large size drink, you know? But honestly, this might be all you need. That from Fork is fantastic. It's got lockout on it, it's got air controls, it's got multi position lockout, so it's not just on or off. You can actually adjust the compression itself on the fly, three position on the back. It still has a Fuel X minnow link, so you're able to adjust this geometry based on what you're doing. If you want it low, long slack for downhill or just easy casual pedaling, flip it there. If you want it fast, high paced, a little bit more twitchy, flip it up to the high setting. It, it's simple. It has a dropper post. And now even the entry level and budget level drop posts are starting to perform much better than they used to be. Much, much better. 29s by 2.6, 2.5, huge tire grip. It works great. 
tubeless ready from the box. What, what more do you need, honestly? Everything about this bike is worth every dollar and it makes sense. Bike prices are kind of crazy right now. Everything's kind of crazy right now. Ikea prices are getting crazy. But this one might make sense for everyone. You're not ever gonna feel ripped off with this bike. There is not one part on here where they cheaped out on. They've got good quality parts, good build to it, high quality craftsmanship. The welds are nearly invisible because you get in the Fuel X frame, the same frame as Fuel X8. It is a platinum alpha aluminum, so it is that lightest weight, best welds. It looks fantastically. Honestly, you should probably buy this bike if we had any left. That was a quick blurb. Hopefully that made sense. This is such an underrated bike, and I think people underrate it because of what else is out there. But for 90% of people, this is the bike which could last forever for your daily driving, daily riding bike. Obviously, when you spend more money, you get better parts, you get better performance, but everyone knows that. But then why wouldn't you buy a $10,000 one? Maybe you don't ride that much. Maybe this is what you need. All right, guys, just a quick one. Fuely X7, looks great, great power spec. Honestly, great value, and it shouldn't be overlooked in any which way. Really think about what you're doing with the bike, because this might be everything you need. If you're really aiming to destroy the trails and race and really get it done, the eight is maybe where you want to lead. But if you just want to get out there and ride and have a great time forever, this might be your best option out there available right now. All right, guys, good luck.